today I have come to Blythefield Reservoir, um, which is behind me. I don't know if you can see. Absolutely, this place is absolutely massive. Um, it's so big, it's actually got a, a road um, going over it, so it's massive. Um, now, it isn't public accessible, um, so you can't get onto the water, and I don't think you can get close to the water. It's owned by Staffs Water. Um, so you can't get down onto it. Just try and just sort of, there you go, see a little bit. Um, yes, but I have found a path that I'm going to follow. So in terms of car parking, um, if you go to Blythefield Car Park, it's literally just um, a tiny little gravel patch um, and you can't get anywhere. Um, either side of the path from there, it's all private land. So you can't get anywhere from there. But if you come over the bridge and you go to Water Lane, um, reservoir car park you can park there there's quite a lot of spaces not loads um, probably enough for sort of 20 odd cars I'd say um, but I've managed to park here it's such a lovely day um, I've managed to get parked up um, and then like I say there is a road now that I think I can just follow so I'm going to just follow this road see what we find um, I have got my camera so yay I finally finally have a camera I have invested um, in the blog um, and I have brought a camera so hopefully we're going to get some awesome shots today of some decent wildlife um, yeah so we're going to head out um, along the reservoir see what we can see see how far we go um, you know sort of map the walk out for you guys and uh, yeah we'll see we'll see what happens so join me for this one let's see see what we can find okay bye starting to head back now in the direction of the car um just because i've been walking for about 40 minutes um so i followed that road and i have just followed it and followed it and followed it um it just takes you to farms and private fields um private space the road is really quite narrow um, and quite overgrown um so you can sort of see this is the road um it sort of looks okay on here but it's definitely not wide enough for two cars and there's not really any passing places. So if there was a car coming, I wouldn't really be able to get out of the way not very easily. Um, there's a passing place coming up here. This is the first one I've seen. Um, so you can't get anywhere near the water um, or near the edge of the water. The road doesn't follow the reservoir around. It just leads further away. Um, so I just sort of checked maps a minute ago, just sort of see where I was going. And I was heading towards the nearest village. Um, so just ages away from the actual reservoir um, so I've given up on that one I had a little look on maps just to see if there's any way of me getting any closer and there just isn't there's not a there's not a path or a road um, it sort of looks like there is it looks like there's um, a narrow path that leads around the top of the reservoir which is where I was sort of trying to head to um, but that um, looks like it's going to be private it's really really narrow um, really overgrown so I think it's private uh, so Doubling back, um, not seen a lot in terms of biodiversity, even with my amazing camera and its amazing zoom. Um, I can't see a lot of difference between the birds out on the water. Um, I mean, there is a footpath here, but this is what I mean. It's just completely overgrown. You just can't access that at all. Um, the first actual footpath I've seen um, and it is just so overgrown that there's no point really trying to head up there um, so what I would say is that if you wanted to come here for a walk don't bother um, yeah probably not the best place I've been to so far for a walk um, it's just a road just hedgerows um, there are some grasses there's some bracken here um, 
it's not really a lot of anything really here um some some birds every now and again but nothing major um and like i say the the water is so far away from you that even with a really good zoom on, on my camera I, I can't differentiate between different ducks um could be anything i could be looking at anything so um i'm just gonna head back to the car uh chalk this one up to experience it wasn't a walk that was that i sort of noticed i just um took a chance on it look looked on Google Maps and uh, had a little look for just a nice big body of water that I could go walk around. Sorry, I'm bobbling you all over the place, I've just realised. Um, yeah, and I uh, just sort of thought I'd come here and it just hasn't really turned out to be um, the sort of walk that I thought it was. So overall, I wouldn't really recommend this um, as a walk to really come and do, not like the other ones that we've sort of visited so far. So, uh, yeah chuck this one up to experience um yeah so i'll try and get some good photos try and get a few things sort of put on the written blog um but yeah not the best one <laughs> okay so see you on the next one hopefully the next one will be better okay bye